I'm here today at the University of Calgary's Rothney Astrophysical Observatory to demonstrate an equatorial telescope mount doing a meridian flip. We're in the northern hemisphere and we're looking east and we have a C-14 telescope on an equatorial mount, specifically a Celestron CGE mount. Right now I am simulating the telescope targeting an object rising in the east, which is to the left of the telescope, and following it across the eastern sky until it is pointing due south something that usually takes about six hours. Now notice that the telescope mount has stopped by itself at or near the north-south meridian line. This is because part of the rotating mount is very close to hitting the stationary parts. It may be the motor housing colliding or a long telescope tube about to hit a tripod leg, but almost all equatorial mounts have this problem. If the scope continues, a collision will occur, which would, ca which would cause damage to the motors or gears. In this case, this mount simply stops accepting motion control commands from the hand controller. It stops, and of course, the target will soon drift out of the camera's field of view. Other mounts may automatically do a meridian flip. Since it's stopped, I'll tell the hand controller to target the object again, which in this case is the sun. And here we go. What's happening is that the telescope is rotating 180 degrees in both declination and right ascension to avoid the collision point. Now it will continue to target the sun across the western sky until it sets, but you will have lost imaging time during this maneuver. Also notice that the camera is now upside down, so all images after the flip will be rotated relative to the starting point. The worst thing about a meridian flip is that it happens at exactly the best time to observe or image targets, when the scope is pointing upwards through the minimum amount of the Earth's atmosphere. So how can you get around this problem? Well, with that type of equatorial mount, you can't. This is my telescope. Mount, it's an alt-azimuth telescope, meaning it's up, down, left, right, but it's mounted on that wedge assembly below it. That turns it into an equatorial scope. And the way this telescope moves, it can go all the way across the sky. It does not have any kind of meridian flip. I use this when I'm taking long-duration astro uh, time lapses, lunar eclipses, or or just taking ordinary deep sky imaging. And this telescope will go all the way across. The camera stays the same orientation relative to the North Celestial Pole. There's no lost imaging due to the meridian. It will go all the way from the eastern horizon all the way to the western horizon with no problems. Smith Telescope mounted on a wedge does not have an equatorial flip problem at all.